Hello, beautiful women. This is Eloquently Emmy, and welcome back to my channel. And this is Fashion Moment 73. So I'm so glad to have you back again. So I just came off a vacation. I have a little bit of vacation head. I was at Tybee Island, Georgia, and I thoroughly enjoyed the time off. I was really in need of a vacation. Let me tell you, um, I thought I was actually going to be able to record some of the um, video on the beach. Uh, my last beach vacation uh, on the coast here, the East Coast, was on Oak Island. It was so calm there, no winds, big, wide, open, white, sandy beaches. Well, Tybee Island is a little different than that. If you go back and check in my Instagram, you'll see, um, what do they call it? A sail? No, it's even different than that, but it's a, it's like a sail surfing where you hold a sail and you surf and, and you'll see that on one of my reels. And this guy is incredible. I did it to uh, fly like an eagle. So go back and check. It's definitely worth watching. It's not normally what you see from me, but it, it was so, so cool. So I just shared it with you. But it was so windy there. You could barely hear each other talking. Um, but, but if you love surf and wind and, and waves, that is the place to go. Uh, hence, I'm going to be recording this video for you here. This fashion moment is going to be this really, really cute um, 4th of July outfit. I'm breaking a few rules here, um, but I love all these. I love this outfit. It's just so stinking cute. Okay, with the J. Crew top, the Saison shorts, the silk scarf, and my accessories. This just everything going for it. I just, I just, I just love it. Okay, I just got done doing a headshot and I just wanted to share this with you. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna go over something really special that Dossie A is doing. That um, sometimes they have their own unique collections. Now you know that they do everything like after like the most iconic and sought after brands and they do their reimaginations of them. Well, sometimes they do their own creative brands, like their own, their own branding, dossier, and they do collections. This one is going to be called the Speak Easy Collection, and I have one of them to share with you. So this is going to be, um, and it's beautiful, okay? My husband tried it, I tried it, we both, we both like it. <laughs> so this is going to be brief, but I just wanted to share this outfit with you, share this incredible Speak Easy Collection, one of the sets from it. And um, hey, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, beautiful women, welcome back. So, hey, I just want to share this one dossier fragrance with you from their original Speak Easy collection. Okay, and this is going to be the bubbly spritz and bitters. And I just want to say, like I said in the intro, that both my husband and I tried it on and we both loved it. It's just, um, it just has that, that light and airiness about it. It, it just it reminds me of like sunshine and citrus and, and um, I'm going to read to you the description, but that's, that was my initial take and it was just summery and and light and that's what I felt when I put it on kind of like sunshine in a bottle and celebration and here I am in my fourth of July outfit and so I thought what better outfit to wear <laughs> when you think about like a celebration cocktail like a, 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 a spritzy cocktail so um, yeah let me let me just uh, put my um, these are my old cat eyes I still love them very much and um, let me read a little bit about it to you. Okay, so this is the bubbly spritz and bitters. So it says, about this perfume, the sensation that inspires. This perfect harmony struck between sweet and bitter in the spritz cocktail, with orange combining effortlessly with aromatic notes and enriched with a hint of vanilla and benzoin to underline gourmand facets. One spritz will delight your senses with all the vibrant sensations of laying beachside on the Italian Riviera. I'm telling you, this was very beachy, what I was saying, citrus, 
um, sunshine in a bottle. So that's what I was getting out of this without even reading this card. That's what I felt. And, and yeah, my husband was right there with me. Okay, so notes. Top notes of, of orange bitter, mandarin, aldehyde, neroli. Middle notes of orange flower, laurel, juniper berry, cedar leaf, artemisia. And then base notes of vanilla, benzoin, incense, and oak moss. Olfactive families, gourmand and citrus. So that's kind of like a sweet and citrus. So how it works. Thanks for giving us a try. Your dossier order has arrived and now it's time to test out your new perfume. Do you love the smell? How does it feel on your skin? If you're not in love, if you're not in love, <laughs> if you're not alive, <laughs> no, no. I guess your smelling days are, are all over. No, but if you're not in love, uh, you're always able to return the bottle. Simply head to the returns page at dossier.co to create a return label and ship it back to us. We've got you covered. Um, crafted in grass, France. Okay, so they're crafted and then it's made in the USA. And I want to say something about that. Um, the reason they can do that is they have so much confidence in their product. It is such a good product. Um, I just love it. it. It is what it says it is. It smells fabulous. I, I love, you know, I love having them on my dresser. I love carrying them in my bag when I want a refresher. It's just a good product. And um, the other thing I want to say, that if you buy in bundles, you, it, it, it gets less expensive. So check them out on their website, dossier.co. The more you buy, the more you save. And then of course, uh, with a certain amount, you're gonna get free shipping. So they make great gifts um, for friends, for special occasions. And something like this one, the Bugly Spritz and Bitters, would be perfect because it's light. It's not gonna overpower anybody. This could be, a signature scent or an all-time scent and this would be a very easy one to gift because like I said citrus sunshine in a bottle a little bit of vanilla I mean what could be sweeter than that <laughs> all right so I love it so let me just uh, spray it but let me tell you I've already sprayed it I hate to be a um, what do they call that when you kind of ruin it before <laughs> but I want it just we, we smelled it it was great yeah. Oh, this is so nice. I mean, in fact, I love this. I'm, I'm wearing this today. Okay, so, mm, I mean, yeah, you can take, I mean, you can taste, you can smell all those citrus top notes. Oh, gosh. And your know, aldehyde is something that you'll find in like the Chanel perfumes. It's, 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 it's kind of, it's a kind of chemical, it's hard to describe. And then the top notes are all like, you know, the bitter orange, the mandarin, the neroli. So that's all the orange family. And and you really get that on the top notes. Even on my, it smells more delicious on my skin. So orange just goes with my, um, my chemistry. And then we got oh, orange, um, juniper, Artemisia, I mean, those are, uh, juniper is like, you know, what, what you would have in gym, in a cocktail. So, you know, that is in the middle notes. It's just giving it that, you know, orange leaf, that, that nice, you know, middle to it. And I really love that. And then the vanilla, the bergamot, the incense, and the oak moss are just great anchors. I love all those scents. And again, um, Bergamot, um, some people don't pronounce the tea, they go bergamot, I don't know bergamot, but it is just, it's another um, citrus. So we got the vanilla, the citrus, the incense, which gives it that, you know, seductive air, and, um, and the oak moss, which is so grounding to everything. So I absolutely adore this perfume. Um, give it a try, you can't go wrong with Dossier. And um, remember, um, when you when you buy more, you save more. I absolutely adore it. So yeah, I'm Emmy of Eloquent Emmy, and I love perfume. Ugh, can't stop sniffing this. Okay, so on to the fashioning for Fashion Moment 73. And if I didn't say it before with the dossier, 
I'm not sure because it's not actually released, I think, till tomorrow. So, um, but I think they're going to say unisex for um, the, the bubbly and, and bitters because both my husband and I loved it. We're like, I want to wear it. He wants to wear it. I want to wear it. So I, I think it would go either way. It's just so nice, though. I mean, yeah, it's fresh. Like I said, sunshine in a bottle. Beach. <laughs> Laying by the beach. <laughs> God, you gotta love it. Okay, so um, let's just um, start from the bottom to the top. This is gonna be brief. Um, this is my 4th of July outfit, and I just thought it was so fun. Like I said, I had, I'm a you know professional photographer. I had a shoot this morning. I just kind of didn't think about it. I put this on, and I said, this is so cute. And, and just fun. And I thought, I'm gonna share this with um, my followers and my, my ladies. So um, let's just start from the bottom to the top like I usually do. And um, this is gonna be brief. On the bottom, I am wearing my Tom's uh, Ava cork sandals uh, in the color natural or putty. And they have a three and three quarter inch heel. I love them. They are so comfortable. They are, you know, higher, but they're easy to walk around in. Because they're cork, they're so light on my feet. They are almond toed, um, just super, super comfortable. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically what I want to say about them. You know, today I am not matching my purse uh, with my shoes. I have a lot of handbags that go with these shoes very well, but sometimes I like to mix it up and that's a good thing to do, ladies. So don't always be matchy, matchy, poo poo. <laughs> you can mix your, um, your handbag to be like a brighter color and have a more neutral or nude shoe to make the, uh, the line of your legs look longer. So that came out fast. And um, it, it comes out really nice and it's just a fun thing to do. Okay, and then I am wearing my Cezanne Rome shorts and you know I have a few pair of these. These happen to be in the denim and I really adore the fit on these. Um, I talked about them at length, I think in Fashion Moment 70 or 71, where I talked about the stitching and everything, so I'm not gonna go into to great detail, but I love the way that they're made, okay? Um, the pockets, the one pocket in the back. I love how high-waisted they are. The pleats, the way they're real, real pleats. Not fake pleats, so there is such a thing. And they're really sewn nicely. And also um, the belt is absolutely gorgeous um, with this one has a rounded tortoiseshell buckle. I love the stitching and the belt, um, the pattern of it, the way it ends in like a triangle. I love the double belt loops, okay? You can see here, they're double. I can stick my finger through. And this is just really, really nice and the cuff and also, I like the way they're loose around your thighs, okay? That um, makes your legs look leaner, okay? So that's a thing. And, and, and I like the way they, they like cinch in on my waist. And that's a, a big deal too. The other thing I like is that um, they, they don't have a bubble here. So you know how so many things have a bubble right here? Well, they're made so well and they fit so well, there is no bubble here. Okay, and I love that. Okay, so then uh, climbing up, I am wearing a top from J. Crew, and I've had this top for a long time. You know, when I first purchased it, I thought this was gigantic, like bubbly um, eyelet and ruffle, and now I'm just like this feels normal to me. So it's it's really how your mind can change and how you perceive things. Uh, so once somebody told me, oh, I can't wear lace or anything like feminine like that. I'm not that tight. People should, don't let people ever label you. Of course you can wear lace, okay? If you want to wear lace and ruffles, wear lace and ruffles. This is 100% cotton. I love this stuff. I think it's gorgeous. So don't let people put you in boxes and tell you that you can't wear lace. Um, that's so wrong. <laughs> don't listen to them, okay? And this is kind of a mean thing to say anyway. So I think this is fabulous. I've got it unbuttoned a lot on purpose. I have a beautiful red, white, and blue 
scarf, okay? It's a silk scarf. And I think this looks so cute. And I have it, um, it's one of those 23 centimeters square silk, so square silk scarves. And I have it triple tie at the very, very corners. So there's like tie is so tiny. So I'm using most of the scarf and tucking it in because what I want to show off is my beautiful um, Pamela Card Golden Ratio Necklace, which is like a seashell. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll show it to you in the B-roll. I've been wearing this on vacation nonstop. It was like the only necklace I wore. It just, I loved it. Um, it it's just, I love seashells and it just reminded me, um, you know, it was just so vacation-y. But I like wearing it all year, time, uh, all year round. Yeah, so I love Pamela Card as an artist and she makes the most beautiful creations. Uh, her neck necklaces, not only necklaces, but other jewelry, earrings, rings, and they're actually heirlooms. So you can get them in a vermeil. Uh, I, I, I know she does solid gold too, and, and I'm sure she does, um, I, I shouldn't say, I don't know, maybe she does silver. But, uh, I, I wouldn't think why not, but anyway, but um, it, if you like gold like I do, and you can see with my, you know, my mother's ring, um, all the pieces on my hand are gold except for my um, wedding band, which is platinum. Um, so I, I really like her things. I told my husband if he's ever at a loss as to what to buy me, <laughs> just go to her website. <laughs> and I'm just um, layering it with just a simple um, gold chain. Uh, yeah, so, but look how beautiful it looks. And I, I just think it's a gorgeous piece. And I, and I, I, just, I just love how, how long um, the clasp is here that holds the seashell. And this is, again, the golden ratio necklace. And yeah, I just adore it. And then I just chose, like I said, to wear my um, Teddy... Blake Ava Lizard Bag. Okay, so I love the um, texture of this. It comes with um, a strap, but I decided to take it off. This is one of the smaller ones. I'm not sure that it is the smallest, but it might be the second to smallest. I can't remember now. It might be the seven inch. Uh, I'll list it in the comments. Um, it is, yes, it's very much like um, the Aramis. I can't think of the name of it, but. Um, it's very much in that vein of style, but um, Teddy Blake of New York, they, they are their own creators. They uh, create, yeah, Birkin, that's the one I was going for. They create their own style bags. I adore this bag. It's just enough. I, you know, you're not gonna get the whole kitchen sink in here by far. It's just enough to get your phone in, your lipstick in, a, a brush and a couple of things. But I think it's, it's, it's charming. I love the hardware, the little keys. Um, and it's just perfect and it, it goes so well with this outfit. Um, oh, and by the way, the silk scarf, I picked that up on Amazon. It's 100% silk. I, I'll, you're just going to have to look for one. I don't know I'll be able to find this. <laughs> the, the companies, they kind of go in and out of the patterns, but it's not hard to find a red, white, and blue scarf. But anyway, uh, I absolutely adore this outfit. This is just so fun for 4th of July. So, hey. I hope you enjoyed, um, you know, me explaining this outfit to you. Yes, I'm breaking the rules here because it's a little blousey and the shorts are a little curvy, but hey, sometimes it's just fun to break the rules um, and, and it comes out okay. You don't always have to have everything skin tight and then loose and reverse. Um, it's okay to break the rules sometimes. As long as you, you look in the mirror and you feel like you look good, you know, your legs look good, you're cinched in at the waist and and the outfit's looking good well that's what matters okay so hey if you like content like this don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so hey it's been my pleasure making this video for you i want to wish you a happy fourth of july uh, you probably won't see this till afterwards but but happy fourth of july anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the dossier Speak Easy collection. Check that out. Uh, I, I just, uh, I love sharing this, um, yeah, bubbly and bitters. Mm, just smells so delicious. And um, hey, with that, um, 
I want to remind you to always wear your sunscreen and to always live your life passionately.